So let's just start off with something that I find to be truly comical. According to the outlet Upworthy, Florida teen defies don't say gay law and teaches class about Stonewall Uprising. A week after the Florida governor signed the state's don't say gay bill, one high schooler is refusing to be silenced. The last time that I checked, high school started in ninth grade. And uh, considering the fact that this parental rights and education bill, it's not actually called don't say gay, uh, it only pertains to students in kindergarten through third grade. Sorry to break it to you, buddy, and to Upward, but uh, as much as this kid wants to be a hero and everything, uh, he's not actually defying anything. His name is Will Larkins, and they say that he's gay and non-binary, which obviously is a contradictory statement. Those things just can't logically work together. There is an author of confusion, you guys, and it is not Jesus. a recent victory in the war against woke culture and of all the places it occurred in Southern California. Orange County California School Board votes to ban critical race theory and this was the Placentia Yorba Linda School Board. The ban was passed by a vote of three to two after convincing the College Board to keep its advanced placement designation on some courses even if certain topics are not allowed to be discussed. The ban does not specify what would happen if a teacher were to violate the policy. So as I said, it seemed a little surprising that something like this would happen in Southern California, but I did a little digging and this is the mayor of Placentia, Rhonda Shader, and it turns out that her kids graduated from Christian high school and Christian university, so she's probably a Christian, which makes it make a little more sense. Because the Bible talks in multiple places about how everyone is on an equal playing field and everyone has equal worth in the eyes of God. I mean, ultimately, we're all sinful people and nobody is supreme above anybody else. For example, Galatians chapter 3 verse 28 says, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. By the way, speaking of placentia, it makes me think of placenta and my birth story, which brings me to Patreon because I have something very special to share with everybody who is signed up over there this month. I'm going to be going into some detail about my labor and delivery process and what that was like. It was crazy. And then the first ambulance ride that I've ever been on that was right afterward. And the first OR experience I've ever had in my life that all occurred on the same day. You can find the Patreon page by going to the website linked in any of my videos. And then on the second page of that website, there will be the Patreon link. Click on join the Patreon family and you be can become a member for just $3 a month and unlock everything else that's already there as well. It was really one of the most interesting and eventful days of my life thus far, so if that sounds intriguing to you, don't miss out, and I'll see you there. So banning CRT in Orange County was a win, but there are still battles being fought against the wokeness front in Burbank, California, as well as Texas. People protesting outside Walt Disney Studios in Burbank tonight over what they are calling the company's quote-unquote woke agenda. According to the Daily Mail, conservative Disneyland worker blasts corporation for banning non-woke views at huge parent protest outside Burbank headquarters, calling for boycott of firm over decision to push gender ideology on children. Tonight, a Christian group was here to basically say they feel Disney isn't so family friendly anymore. It's the opposite of the Mickey Mouse Club. 
Hundreds of people, parents, and even kids demonstrating in front of Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, saying the company is leaning too far left. But to teach them at such a young age and to have a task force focusing on teaching these things to kids, I think it's just morally wrong as a Christian and just what I believe in my personal belief. In what appeared to be part church service and part protest, the group called Hold the Line is also encouraging people to hit the entertainment titan in the pocketbook. Right now it's a time to boycott and then it's a time to stand up. This mom drove in from Orange County. Our job is to be parents and then our job is to, you know, make sure that they're watching appropriate things. Well, children are moldable and what are we doing? Disney's taking a stance to say we know children are moldable and we're going to do what we can to mold them in the image that we desire. Both sides couldn't be more animated about the issue, but those anti-Disney say they don't have a choice on speaking up. What do you say to people that say Disney's not making parents put their programming on for kids? Oh, that's fantastic. Um, I mean, what is the largest media corporation in the United States? Do people, are people forced to use Google? Are people forced to use Apple? Are people forced to fly in airplanes? No, these are just the most convenient, uh, powerful corporations. These types of protests mainly started in Florida in response to Disney coming out so strongly in support of the people against the parental rights in education bill. But according to the article, now it appears the outrage has spread to the West Coast, where concerned parents gathered to tell the company to stop promoting gender ideology to children. As great as these types of protests are, they certainly don't always bring about any type of real meaningful political change or cultural change. But... For fellow Christians such as myself, it's just important to realize that people are watching our behavior in general, and this particular protest put on by this Christian group did make an impact for this YouTuber, who I'm about to show you right here, uh, caused him to think more about spiritual things, and that in itself is beyond valuable. Check it out. The protest was organized by, okay, so it is religious, a Christian activist group hold the line, and took place in Burbank, California on Wednesday evening. You know, I think, I, you know, I've talked about this before, that I'm not a particularly religious person, but as I get older, you know, and uh, life, you know, I have less life to live than more. Um, you know, it's it's like a, it's a natural curiosity is, is kind of, you know, uh, building up in me. And there's a lot of like, you know, the, the like uh, Christians seem to, um, you know, yes, there are problems with any large group of people, but like they seem to stick to their, their morals. They are the largest group probably fighting against a lot of this, um, bizarre woke stuff. So I find myself aligning with them quite frequently and, and, and like, honestly, Christians and, you know, they're the ones that are actually mobilizing. Um, and they're out there building the signs, they're out there showing, they're walking the street. So, I mean, there's something to be said for that. Lastly, another battle being waged against the, in my opinion, commie Build Back Better agenda lies with Governor Greg Abbott in Texas. To help local officials whose communities are being overwhelmed by hordes of illegal immigrants who are being dropped off by the Biden administration, Texas is providing charter buses to send these illegal immigrants who have been dropped off by the Biden administration to Washington, D.C. According to the Texas Tribune, Abbott said federal officials are planning for more than 18,000 migrant crossings per day on the southern border, which would amount to half a million crossings a month. Abbott also said Wednesday the Department of Public Safety will immediately begin enhanced safety inspections of commercial vehicles coming through the Mexico border into Texas because human smugglers are known to use commercial trucks to transport people into the country. The state will also create boat blockades and install razor or barbed wire across the Rio Grande in high traffic areas. Texas will be taking its own unprecedented actions this month to do what no state in the America has ever done in the history of this country. We are sending them to the United States Capitol where the Biden administration will be able to more immediately address the needs of the people that they are allowing to come across our border. Where we met with uh, more than two dozen local officials uh, who represent either cities or counties on the border. And I got to tell you, they are angry and upset about all of the 
catastrophes caused by the Biden open border policies, and, and they are urgently asking for action, obviously from the state of Texas. A plan that Houston's representatives think is just for his political gain. This is just another of his series of political stunts. He is more worried about mobilizing his base and, and getting reelected than he is about taking care of people here in Texas. The mockery of the seriousness of people who are fleeing a crisis made by this governor is shameful. In the meantime, local organizations say they will sue if he moves forward with this plan. We are ready to take legal action because at the end of the day, we only want to protect people's civil rights and we don't want to play into Governor Abbott's political theater. Abbott's plans are in response to the Biden administration moving to end the pandemic era emergency health order known as Title 42 that allowed immigration authorities to turn away migrants at the border, including asylum seekers, in order to help them better manage the overwhelming number of migrants sometimes trying to enter the country. Lastly, the governor's office clarified that the program is completely voluntary for migrants and would happen only after they have been processed and released by the Department of Homeland Security. And many immigration advocates have noted that providing transportation services for asylum seekers to reach their final destination is something the state should invest in. Thank you again so much for being here today. Since you liked the video enough to make it all the way to the end, don't forget to click the thumbs up and share with somebody else who would also find it interesting. Leave your comments below and we'll all have a conversation. And if you really enjoyed it, check out the description for several different ways that you can support while getting some cool stuff for yourself. Have a wonderful night. Have a